Hello everyone, my name is Alberto August and in today's session we're going to talk about adding activities to Google Classroom. Okay, so let's begin. In the last session, we talked about adding classroom to your Google Classroom and we have our classes in front of us. So now what do I do? We need to create activities for our students. So how do we go about creating activities for our students? Okay, so let me show you how to go about creating activities for my students. So let's say I want to go to language arts and you could take any classroom. For this one, I'm going to take language arts. Okay. Now you will notice there are a couple of features here that you want to that you want to consider and at the top it says stream it says classwork it says people and it says grades so we're going to talk quickly about those three streaming these are for announcements if you want to post an announcement you quickly you quickly put click here add an announcement for example to remind students to bring their typing sheets to class for these sessions or to bring the materials that you want, you can remind them, or that we will have a guest speaker for language arts, you can put that in what you call stream, okay? You can also create your Google link here where you can go live with them, especially for the high school students and those doing subject teaching. You don't need to create a Meet, they just go to the to, to Google Classroom and they can initiate your Google Meet and you can have a live session with them in your Google Classroom. Okay, but we're going to talk about creating work. So let's go to classwork. So that is streaming page, that's the first page. Let's go to classwork. In the classwork, again, you see that little familiar button that says create, okay? So here you have create. You click on the create and you will see a few activities that pop down the drop down menu. You can create an assignment, you can create a quiz, you can create questions, materials, or you could reuse posts in the past or just a new topic. Let's go to assignment to see, as you want to create an assignment, which is an activity for them, we'll talk about creating a quiz in a future session. So for now, for this session, let's create an assignment. Okay, so to create assignment, let's label our assignment. Let's say this is the language arts and we want to label this let's say um very easy topic uh, nouns nouns and you want to be more specific let's say we call it proper proper nouns okay we want, this is the subject that you're teaching you can leave the instructions here let's say you're going to give them a worksheet or you're going to give them a video i will i would show you how to do that you can write your instructions for example you can say um read the read the worksheet or you can write you can say watch the video watch the video and and create and create uh, and create a paragraph with pen proper noun nouns there we go that's your instruction and you can go as detailed as you like so let's say i'm going to let them watch a video so here in the add button i'm going to add and it will ask you to add a couple um a couple features you can add a document from your google drive you could add a, a link let's say if it was a link from a, a from a website you can add a file. When you add a file, it's going to take you to your computer to where you go and grab your file. Maybe it's a Word document if you wanted them to go through. Uh, for example, Pinterest has a lot of worksheets and you want them to go through those worksheets. Yes, you can do that as well. Or in this case, you can click on YouTube video since I said I'm going to insert a video. So you click on YouTube, you go to YouTube, you get the link for the URL and you copy and you paste the URL for the YouTube in there. Okay, I'm going to go through all that. You put it there and it will be there. So when the students access this assignment, they'll be able to see the, they'll be able to watch the video. Other little things that you need to know 
it's for all students and if you want to do individual students let's see this was an activity for an individual student you can actually pick or select an individual student um, to, to, to do this um, particular activity you want to grade the activity you put 100 points you don't have to grade all the activities on go on, on Google classroom some activities yes um, you can award points. Some of them, they just need to do and complete just to know that you, uh, um, that they're working in or with the subject that you're, that you are teaching. Okay. You can, so you can put a grade. If you want to put 50%, you 50 points, 10 points, whatever it is, you may, or you could simply put ungraded if you like. So you decide how you want to do that. Good thing about Google Classroom, it has due dates. So you can assign a due date to specific time. So you just click on here, it will pop up. You want this to be due on, let's say on, on Thursday, you want it to be due on Thursday and you have a specific, uh, a specific time or any day on Thursday, if you want it to be due on, uh, let's say by five o'clock or before school is over at two o'clock, two o'clock um, um, PM, you can put this there and it's going to insert the time for you to, um, for, for them to submit this or it will be closed okay all right so you will you will set the time and they will know that you could add a topic to it if you want you can create a topic if you want to put another topic for example a theme if you want let's say nouns you're doing about the jungle the ocean you can if you want to or you don't have to you can add a rubric and you can check for plagiarism if you want to you check for plagiarism it means that students are not copying and pasting information from off the internet okay so there i created an activity on my google classroom and i will click assign and i am finished to you know it's saving it and it is go it's going to take me back to there and here i have my proper noun assignment the students will go to their language arts and they will see the when it's due it's due on march 25th at 2 p.m so you need to submit this before 2 p.m so it's right there for them okay if you want to make any edits any change if you want to delete it oops you know that was the wrong topic you can delete it or you can edit anything that you've posted so far let's say you change your mind from watching a video instead you want them to do a worksheet you can change and edit there great so that is classroom then i want to show you where to see your students under people and you can do two things here you can add a teacher, let's say two of you teachers, you're doing, um, instead of creating, everybody creating a Google Classroom, you can add a teacher here, let's say both of you in the, especially high school, both of you might be co-teaching, let's say history, or co-teaching language arts, or uh, English, grammar, literature, then you can add a teacher here um, for, them, for them to see or have access here and can be able to edit um, the activities in here. So you can use collaborative work and do collaborative work with teachers okay at your school so you will see a list of the students i don't have students anymore and yet because i haven't populated with students as yet i don't have any students but you can eventually when they sign into the code you will see their names starting to populate there with their email address and you will see have access to all your students and you can actually add them here by sending the link or inviting them through sending them an email and finally looking at grades Okay, you know, I don't have any grades, I don't have any students, so you won't see any grades, but as the students complete the exercise for only the graded activities, the grades will populate there. And a good thing about that is that at the end of the term, you can go ahead, there'll be an Excel, there'll be an icon for an Excel, and you can download all the grades if you want to eventually put that on your report card. Okay, so you'll have your grades there for all the graded tasks. Remember that all tasks are graded. So let me just recap again. Um, in your language arts, you created, you created, uh, let me go back, uh, let me go back to, to my classes and show you how to go about that to recap. Okay, I'm just going to pick another subject. Let's say it's science. Here you go, you go into the science. Stream is to remind them to bring, for example, their the equipment that they'll be needing for today's science lesson. In classwork, this is where you're going to post, you're going to create your different assignments here. Every day you'll give them one assignment, at least maybe two assignments, depending on what you are doing. But one assignment sufficient every day as we do in the normal classroom. Okay. Then you go to people. 
in people, you'll be able to see the teachers that you're collaborating with, or if you're just a classroom teacher uh, working alone, fine, just you the classroom teacher, and you'll have the list of your 2025 students that you have there. And finally, you have the, I, the, the area where you will see your grades, and you'll have access to those grades for all your students, okay? So that is Google Classroom. So please feel free to toy around with it. Don't be afraid um, and, to, and to explore. And I want to say that is a mounting platform along with Google Meet. You'll be able to be on your way to deliver quality. My name is Alberto August. Thank you so much for tuning into this session and do have a wonderful rest of the day.